Okay, my dudes, oh, what is up? Beyblade X has released maybe the best defensive type bay in this generation. My dudes, let me welcome to you Leon Crest. Holy moly, look at the size of this Beyblade. It is absolute, it's a wall. It is an absolute blocking wall right here, guys. This looks so thick. It's absolutely insane. I can't wait to see how well it actually does in battles. And I'm hoping, I really am hoping that this defense type Beyblade X Bay is where they start to turn around. Because let's be honest, defense type bays were kind of in a weird situation. They didn't have enough stamina to deal with stamina bays. They just sat directly in the center so the attack bay types could just literally destroy them when going onto the extreme dash attack rails right there. And I don't know, it was just, they weren't really in a good situation as well. And they were very light for some weird reason. But anyway, hopefully they have fixed it with this one. We do get the same owner, obviously, as Leon Claw. This was uh, the first Leon Bay we actually got. We got the original and we got the gold as well. You know we had to hit on that gold version. I love when we have painted metal, man. It's just so cool. Uh, but all right, so let's look at the back right here real quick. You guys can see, check that out. That is no joke. That right there is no joke. It looks like it got like three layers. Even the ratchet looks thick. That looks crazy. All right, so uh, Leon Crest, we have the Ratchet, which is 760, which I believe is new. And then we have a GN, which I, I think that might be new as well. But let's check it out and let's unbox it and see what it's actually saying inside this Beyblade right now. Guys, comment down below. If you have this Beyblade, let me know what you actually think about it as well. Is it good in battle? Or is the hype just that? Just hype. Um, all right, so cool thing about uh, TTs, they always give you this right here. I love seeing this, man. Like this always lets you know what you're gonna get next. I think we're getting a whale type bay next, which looks kind of crazy, because it's got like some edges going up, like Blast Genius did from the first generation. Yo, yeah, it looks crazy. This right here, Yo, I would love to get this, but I've seen it go for crazy insane money and I am not on that right now, to be very honest with you. But it does look very, very cool, man. Uh, can't wait to get this. We have this. This is, we're gonna be unboxing the new Phoenix Rudder in the next episode. This comes with uh, some other bays as well. So don't forget to check that out because that's gonna be pretty awesome as well. Uh, but yeah, all right. So let's just put this down to the side right there and let's get out this new Beyblade right here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The one thing I will say right now is I'm liking the actual color of this. What am I doing? I need to uh, get all of this open up. All right, guys, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, just looking at this is insane. Let me just compare it to like wizard rod right there like look at that look at that does this come off does it move it doesn't come off or it doesn't move no yeah you all right you can see so uh the rivets right here this this screws in here where it doesn't screw in they done it and then they stamped it i can actually drill these out to be very honest with you and actually put screws in there so we can actually change that around this doesn't feel as heavy as i thought it might have though not gonna lie, it does look insanely cool. Let me show you the different bits inside. So that's the first Leon we got, that's the second one. The front front facing uh, lion right there looks way cooler. Um, shape looks nice, it's actually nice and it hasn't got, it's got contact points, but I feel like it would actually be okay, to be honest with you. It's all gonna depend on the combo, man. All right, 760 as well. Let me just put all this to the side. Let me zoom in, because that's what we want. We want to zoom in right here. All right, so the 760 Ratchet. It basically just looks like that, but just a little bit smaller, which is your... Oh, that's, that's really, really, really loose. That's like... Yeah, sometimes when you do the and turn it around like that, sometimes one side is more stiffer than the other. This is really loose. I'm hoping... 
that this doesn't make it burst. Look at that, like, there's no pressure there whatsoever, guys. Like, literally, that's like, that's probably the loosest ratchet I've ever seen on a Beyblade X. But look at that! What is this? All right, anyway, here is the awesome GN bit right there. I like the color. Um, I don't even know what color that really is. Like a pastel kind of subtle green. I have no idea what the color is. But I do believe that is a new bit, which is nice. Um, all right, let's put that in. And look at this. Like, my dudes, just like, look how crazy that is. Like, that is not normal. <laughs> I look, yo, my dudes, wow, just wow, like, first of all, that looks phenomenal, and that just looks insane, like, when I say insane, like, that's kind of crazy, like, look how thick that is, my dudes, whoa, all right, all right, all right, all right. so one thing I do want to do before we get into any battles is I want to weigh it right now, so... Uh, a good weight, a good weight would probably be something around about the 35, 36 maybe be decent. Let me see what Wizard Rod weighs. So, yeah, so 35, 36, 37 would be nice. I would say I would like it to be a 36. 36 grams would be pretty good. Let's see what we're getting right here. Yeah, it's not that far off. Almost 35 grams. An extra gram would have been a little bit more cooler, but it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Let me see what Leon Claw was actually weighing in at. This feels more solid. This is only 31 and a half. So it has upgraded like over three grams, to be honest with you. So we have got a weight upgrade right there which is pretty decent let me see what the whole combination is so loose i don't know if i like that the whole combination should weigh about 42 43 i believe oh, almost 44 almost 44 let me just the only reason why i'm actually comparing it right now to wizard rod is because this base is phenomenal so it's not that much less than wizard rod so 40 6.6, 43, 40, let was say 44, right? So it's like one and a half grams off. All right, so I would have liked it to be a tiny bit more heavier. It looks like it's actually going to be heavier, but it's actually not, which is weird. Not going to lie. I don't know why it's not as heavy. It looks super heavy, but what I think is there's not as much metal and it's a lot more, these little cutouts as well. So I don't know, but you know what? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a weighing up in the right direction, which is good. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to do the left spinning launcher test. Oh, it doesn't go on. It doesn't go on. It doesn't go on. It, it doesn't go on. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look, look. It doesn't go on. It doesn't go on. That's crazy if it did. I had to just check that just in case. All right, so let me get the, um, the stadium over here, i got so much stuff. You guys can see Rudder right there. Rudder's getting unboxed next, so do not miss that episode. Uh, let me just quickly do some launches here. And then we're gonna do some test battles as well. So obviously, right, that's kind of what we expected. We'll do up against Leo as well. So Leo versus Leo. We'll see which one actually is better. Oh, you guys can already see that Claw has more movement. But there you go. I think the extra weight right there done pretty well. Not going to lie, man. Got to make sure it's still clicked on. Okay, let me do this. This is a battle that I don't know would be fair, to be very honest with you. Because at the end of the day, I believe that Wizard Rod... It's so OP, no Beyblade can compare to it. Let's be honest, it should probably be a banned Beyblade because it's just so good. Like, Wizard Rod is on a whole nother dimension. Like, it's like, it's in a whole nother galaxy. And it's got decent lads, not obviously as good as this. All right, so, one more battle I want to test. See how well it holds up to attack with Dran Buster. Make sure that's on there. Right, here we go. Let's see now. Oh, wow. Okay, 
so that went flying out there. Let me just so uncontrollable. It really is. Not gonna lie. Oh, it didn't burst. It didn't burst. We did obviously launch it in a lot more later because I missed launch. Well, I wouldn't say I missed launch. It kind of didn't really go onto the side. That I think I hit the side. <laughs> I think I hit the side of the stadium on that one, guys. All right, here we go. I just want to see if it can hold up to attacks. That's mainly what I want to do right now. I just want to see if it can actually withstand some big hits. This ain't going to be the best battle. That's what I always say, guys. When we do these one-player battles, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, I don't know about stamina here. I don't know about stamina here. Uh, we'll have to test it out. Um, it, it's, it's crazy. It doesn't... It feels like hollow. It kind of feels hollow. It's kind of insane, man. I want to see what the lad is like. That's what I'm curious about as well. So I know Phoenix Rudder is going to be stamina. I think it's stamina anyway. That's going to be a really good test as well to see what it compared like to this one. Uh, but guys, yeah. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking about Leon Crest. I like the look of it. I'm hoping that defense times get nice and heavy around the 36, 37, 38 pushing. Uh, that'll be nice, to be very honest with you. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.